Hello YouTube, today I'm gonna share with you what I've done to my Fairion. I'm recording this with some old camera, for old Fairion actually. That's why I don't expect good quality, but I hope I will make my point clear. So uh, this Fairion is Sony Ericsson Xperia, whatever it is, I don't know, it's old and it's just Android 2.3 or something. Uh, interesting is that it has a good camera but what is uh, interesting about this now is my experiment so I tried to power this phone from the battery of the remote control helicopter actually quadcopter so this is single cell battery it is attached to ports uh, for normal uh, battery of the phone so plus and minus and uh, there is something else there is third port like you know phones and it's it's responsible for temperature so if temperature goes high resistance grows uh, no resistance actually goes down and uh, when resistance is too small and voltage is uh, almost the same like on, on the minus that means that it is uh, the battery is uh, hot and it, it shuts down the fan. Not to make it even hotter to pre uh, prefer, uh, preserve it for, from fire actually to uh, yeah, to prevent fire. Uh, so because my aim was uh, to replace the battery actually to be able to use it with any kind of battery in uh, any s single cell battery because I have plenty of them not to be dependent on on the one which it had and it, it was already dead it was very inconsistent it's almost all crashed all the time because of the battery I didn't want to buy the new one because I didn't want to invest anything into this phone this phone is old and it's not worth any investment even though the camera is pretty good so what I did is I uh, open up the battery remove the plastic all the cover and I found out that this is this is the connected head and I, I tried some soldering before uh, so what it does is these three ports and uh, the battery itself has two ports these two ports are connected to the battery and this is already normal single cell so it uh, in the middle it is minus and uh, the shell is plus and here it is connected to, to plus to on, on this board on the socket board and this is socket board was actually touching the connectors and this is a temperature measure so what I did I used uh, resistors from the DVD which I tried to repair and I didn't do that but I found a lot of interesting stuff in there including electric motors, brushed motors and different kind of gears so interesting for different projects whole DVD and what I did is I tried different resistors and I needed to reduce the voltage actually this is the plus this is minus and in the middle supposed to be somewhere like half of the volt so maybe 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 uh, less than the minus so between them the voltage between plus and in the middle must be half volt smaller than between plus and minus I achieve that with, with these two uh, resistors in parallel and this way it's now consistently works it's a brand new Android because I had to wipe it down and like make it brand new so all the software all the settings everything is gone after I finished the project and now I'm kind of uh, uh, able to use any kind any single cell batteries from any uh, device from tablet and everything I have I made another mode to my other phone this is Samsung and what interesting with this phone is just I didn't modify the phone itself I just modify the connector actually I first did it the same with this Sony Ericsson Xperia so what I did is 
that yeah, I'm trying to remove the cover so I just soldered connectors of the battery uh, plus and minus a connect JST connector so I kind of can recharge this battery from outside and the reason why I did this because this connector charging connector for USB is malfunctioning actually it doesn't work it is broken and the owner of the phone asked me to, if I can repair this no I couldn't repair the such tiny connector so what I did is this ugly thing just attached to the battery and this JST connector what I need to recharge this phone is to turn it off in the night for one hour and recharge it from helicopter charger that's not very elegant solution but it works and at first I was doing the same with this battery but this battery was dying and it's now absolutely inconsistent so phone crashes with this battery voltage is not adequate so I broke this battery open up everything so this system and I was looking for the adequate resistance which is these two resistors and from now on I need to attach these wires and isolate them with the glue and attach this uh, back ca cover with the glue so it doesn't open and maybe attach not this one but the bigger battery to the back so it will be transportable or something so I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do about this well uh, I have to apologize for the quality of the video I'm shooting this as I say with the old phone because these are my phone right now with decent cameras, at least this one, Sony Experience has decent camera and uh, as I showing them I have to film with the third camera and third camera is this crappy phone which I am now using to film this so, because I am a asylum seeker and I cannot afford uh, buying new battery or buying new phone I have to make this kind of repair repairs but it's interesting to do but make sure if you try something like this make sure that you're doing this with the old phone which is not really valuable so that you can trash it if, if you fail and of course safety precautions because if you confuse here for example this is plus but I sold first red here and vice versa so I I didn't short uh, short circuit it but there is possibility if you short it you will not only burn the phone destroy the phone but you cannot uh, actually can have a fire so it can be combustion so make sure you follow safety precautions and that your phone is not really and new and expensive if so just buy a new battery don't don't mess with this if you break the connector like here of course buying a new battery will not help battery is actually fine then I don't know if somebody can repair this or you have to trash it so yeah, I already encountered before that Samsung has broken connectors that one which I encountered for Fua I just saved the guy I cannot help him because I cannot really repair this connector but this one I just did this ugly thing and the owner doesn't seem to want it back so maybe I'll, I'll use this phone for some time so that's what I'm doing with my phones uh, alright thanks for watching take care